The monarch butterfly, Danaus plexippus, is one of the most iconic and widely recognized butterfly species. Known for its striking orange and black wings, the monarch is also famous for its remarkable migratory behavior. Key characteristics Appearance Monarchs have orange wings with black and white spots along the edges. The wings also feature two black lines that form a pattern across the body. Males have a black spot on their hind wings, which females do not. Size Monarchs typically have a wingspan of about 3.5 to 4 inches, 9 to 10 centimeters. Life cycle The monarch goes through four stages in its life cycle. Egg Laid on milkweed plants. Which are the primary food source for monarch larva? Larva, caterpillar. The caterpillar is striped with black, white, and yellow, and it feeds exclusively on milkweed. Pupa, chrysalis. The caterpillar pupates inside a chrysalis where it undergoes metamorphosis. Adult butterfly. After emerging, the butterfly begins its adult life, feeding on nectar and beginning the cycle again. Migration. One of the most fascinating aspects of the monarch butterfly is its migration. Monarchs are known for their long-distance journey, traveling up to 3,000 miles 4, kilometers, from southern Canada and the U.S. to central Mexico for the winter. During migration, they rely on a combination of innate navigation abilities and environmental cues, such as the position of the sun and magnetic fields. Conservation. Monarch populations have been declining in recent decades, primarily due to habitat loss, especially the destruction of milkweed plants, pesticide use, and climate change. Efforts to protect their habitats, such as planting more milkweed and preserving migratory corridors, are essential for their conservation. The monarch is not only a beautiful insect but also a symbol of resilience due to its extraordinary migration and life cycle. Sure, let's dive deeper into the life and behavior of the monarch butterfly. Detailed life cycle and stages. Egg stage. Monarchs lay their eggs individually on the underside of milkweed leaves. These eggs are tiny, white or off-white in color, and about the size of a pinhead. After about 3 to 5 days, the eggs hatch into larvae, caterpillars. Caterpillar stage, larva. The monarch caterpillar, also known as a larva, is very distinctive, with bands of black, white, and yellow running down its body. It starts out small but grows rapidly as it feeds on the milkweed plant, its sole food source. As the caterpillar grows, it molts, sheds its skin, several times. In total, it will go through five molts, growing larger with each stage. Milkweed contains toxins called cardiac glycosides or toxic alkaloids which are harmful to most predators. However, the monarch caterpillar absorbs these toxins and retains them in its body, making it distasteful or even toxic to many animals. This provides a form of protection against predation. Chrysalis stage, pupa, after reaching its full size, the caterpillar finds a secure spot and begins the process of pupation. It attaches itself to a surface, like a twig or leaf, using a silk thread. Then sheds its final larval skin to reveal the chrysalis, a translucent, jade-green structure. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar undergoes a remarkable transformation known as metamorphosis where its body breaks down and reorganizes into the adult butterfly form. This process can take about 10 to 14 days. Adult butterfly, once the transformation is complete, the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis and its wings are initially soft and crumpled. It pumps blood into its wings to expand and harden them, a process that typically takes a few hours. The adult monarch then begins its primary tasks, feeding on nectar from flowers to build energy reserves, mating, and laying eggs to start the cycle again. Migration Monarch butterflies are one of the few species of insects that engage in long-distance migration. 
This phenomenon is thought to be triggered by changes in temperature and the length of daylight during the fall. In late summer or early fall, monarchs in North America begin migrating south to wintering grounds in central Mexico. This migration can involve several generations, with the first generation to leave being born in the late summer, and those that make the long journey south being the great-grandchildren of the original butterflies that began the migration in spring. Migration route Monarchs typically follow a flyway that leads them to specific mountainous regions in central Mexico, including Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve in Michoacan where millions of butterflies overwinter in the dense fir forests. Navigation Monarchs use a combination of internal biological clocks and environmental pews, such as the position of the sun and magnetic fields, to navigate. Recent research suggests that monarchs may also use polarized light patterns from the sun to help them orient themselves during migration. Feeding and Ecology Monarch butterflies feed on the nectar of a variety of flowers, particularly those with flat, accessible blooms such as milkweed, asters, and goldenrods. The long proboscis, a tube-like mouthpart, allows them to reach deep into flowers for nectar. While they primarily feed on nectar, the larvae rely entirely on milkweed for sustenance. This relationship between the monarch and milkweed is critical to their survival. As the monarchs feed on the leaves, they accumulate toxins from the plant, which they carry into their adult stage, making them distasteful or toxic to predators such as birds, lizards, and small mammals. Habitat and Conservation Monarchs rely on milkweed plants as both a food source for larvae and a habitat for eggs. Milkweed is crucial to the monarch's reproductive cycle, but its availability has decreased due to urban development, agricultural expansion, and pesticide use. Conservation Threats Habitat Loss Both milkweed plants and the forests in Mexico that monarchs depend on for overwintering have been threatened by deforestation and land development. Climate Change Warmer temperatures and unpredictable weather patterns have disrupted both the breeding and migration cycles of monarch butterflies. Pesticides The use of pesticides in agriculture can kill monarch larvae and reduce the availability of milkweed. In summary, monarch butterflies are not only extraordinary for their beautiful appearance and ecological role but also for their stunning migratory behavior. They rely on a delicate relationship with milkweed, face numerous conservation challenges, and are integral to many cultures and ecosystems. Preserving monarchs requires a collaborative effort to protect their habitats, ensure the availability of milkweed, and combat the threats posed by climate change and human activity. Their migration continues to inspire awe, symbolizing resilience, transformation and the interconnectedness of life.